Well, campaigning for the European Parliament elections ratchets up today with a number of manifesto launches. Uh, the new party, Change UK, has already had a launch, but it is holding a People's Vote rally uh, in Sheffield later today. And I'm joined now uh, by the party's uh, Brexit spokesperson and former Conservative uh, MP, and now independent uh, Anna Subi. Welcome to you. Bo to you. Um, it's all going rather badly for Change UK, isn't it? I don't think so at all. Look, we formed as a party three weeks ago, three weeks ago, and look at what we've achieved. We've got 70 first-class stand candidates standing across Great Britain, and they are a cracking team. I mean, they really are. And they come from all political parties and none. They include people, um, and I'm thinking of a woman who is standing in the East Midlands, which is obviously my home territory, mm. if you like, so very close to my heart who voted leave in the referendum, uh, a teacher who has changed her mind, and she believes in what we believe in, which is people's vote and remain. So I think we've achieved a hell of a lot, if I may say, and I think we are gaining that um, forward momentum, if I can use that word, amongst, amongst people who now do see us as this opportunity to change British politics. Yeah. But and I mean, the, pro the problem is a lot of your energy seems different. to be devoted to fighting the Liberal Democrats who, no, sta who stand for the same thing. No, I, that, I do forgive me. Uh, my energy and that of our candidates and indeed yeah. our 11 MPs is very clear. What we are well, fighting for... We've actually seen for, attack documents saying home in no, on Lib Dem I, well, uh, I candidates have, I can, and supporters. I can truly and honestly say I've never seen that document. But more it has been published. I, I don't it. know. Uh, more importantly, I'll tell you what we're fighting for. And we're fighting for that people's vote and we're fighting for Remain. That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, but so are the Lib Dems. Oh, but the, I think we have to be very honest about all of this. Of course, the Greens are also yeah. fighting for the same. Let's be, we have to be very honest about this. Over the last three years, we've not seen the breakthrough of any Remain party, frankly, in the way that we should have done. And I think the reason for that is because all our parties are broken. Our three main political parties are broken. Most notably, of course, the Conservative Party, mm. which is just melting before our eyes. And Labour, we all wait with anticipation to see what Labour are going but to you do you don't today. think, actually, it would have been better if I just defected to the Lib Dems? Well, you know what, Adam, you have to, if I may say, ask this question. First political party I ever joined was the Liberals. I served in government with the Lib Dems, 2010 to 2015, and I enjoyed that experience. When I took the view that the Conservative Party had left me, and so I left the Conservative Party. I went and joined up with Chuka Amuna, Chris Leslie, Luciana Berger, yeah. Mike Gapes, and all the rest of them. And that is because over the course of the two and a half years that I've been working with people like Chuka and Chris in particular, I know that the vision that they have of fixing our broken politics and their vision for the future of this country is one that I comfortably sit with. And with no disrespect to my Lib Dem colleagues, many of whom are good personal friends, I think their lack of progress over the last three years does say a lot of truth about where all three political parties are. We need something different. We need change in our country. That means a new party that shrugs what off the is, past. What is the change you're proposing on beyond actually not changing and remaining in the European well, Union? Well, let's look at a really good example of, of what we absolutely fundamentally believe in. We believe in looking at the evidence, not being bound by ideology, when we form policy. Now, these European elections have come along, taken everybody by surprise. Uh, we had a complete plan to do what we are determined to do, which is to go out on the big yeah. issues that face our country, yeah. listen to the evidence, listen to the people, and formulate policies yeah, based on our values and principles that bring you the You see, the problem is that you say these elections took everybody by surprise. They didn't take Nigel Farage by surprise. He's clearly very well prepared for them. You, well... You say he's well prepared for them. I mean, we could talk about Mr. Farage, uh, and I'm very happy to do I've that. I've already had his literature through my front door in London. Well, he's extremely well funded, and we have questions about where his funding comes from. Well, that's and of his course, he has, a, he has a logo that, when you look at it, actually looks like a house that's fallen over and actually does represent his vision of Brexit, which is damage and chaos for this great yeah. country. And I think that. Now yours looks like uh, redacted information. No, ours is absolutely clear about what we stand for in these elections what, we stand bars. for no no that's no no let's have grown do forgive me adam let's have grown-up politics here let's okay. get out of the westminster right. bubble look at what we stand okay. for. okay people's vote we're gonna have to leave it there Couldn't i'm afraid clearer. more in the next hour